Hello everyone, I'm here bringing you the fruits of my current live 2D labor. So I'm going to get right into the demo. This is made using the RenPy 7.0 pre-release that was released on May 13th. So we show here, here's one animation, and then there's a repeating animation, which is her idle animation. And sometimes I get stuck on what to do for idle animations, but uh, I think this is not too bad. Uh, con if you consider that the only thing I was able to animate is the face, then I think this looks pretty good. Obviously it could be better if I was able to animate more, but it's, it's what is done is done well, I think. And Tom just uh, made a sweet hotfix for me for uh, making it so that I can reshow the same expression and have it start the animation over. So that's sweet. And then there's her frown sigh animation. And then that's it. So I did a total of four animations. And I'm going to show you. Let's take a start taking a look at the actual images we used. We have Eileen Frown, Eileen Frown Mask, which if I open it in Windows Media Player at least will look like crazy crap. Come on. Apparently it will freeze my computer. Okay, see, yeah, it looks really weird on Windows Media Player, but I promise you it's an actual good, honest-to-goodness mask. And then Eileen Frowning is, oh yeah, that's another weird thing that that's just Windows Media Player, is this one. A three-second animation, which if you notice has a little bit of pixelation on the outside of on the edge of her, but it's, uh, that's taken care of by the mask, so that's why you didn't see it in the actual demo. So let's take a look at how we actually accomplished this. So I'm going to take a look at my code. Here's my script. Literally, every single time I want to show a new animation, I say show Eileen, and then I say which animation I want. And that is it. And it is automatically going and becoming my idle animation in the meantime. And you do have to do a bit of setup for that, but this is great for ease of use once you've set it up. It's just like amazing. So let's take a look at how I set it up. I did an images.rpy file where I made Eileen idle, which I didn't actually use in the script, but I made it just in case I needed it where I have a movie. Let's look up movie sprites. So movie displayables and movie sprites, you would give it play and mask. And then you can also give it a channel. And then we have uh, one extra thing, which is not seeing, I'm not seeing it in the documentation here, but there's, oh, here it is. Here's where it's talking about. Here's the movie. You can give frames per second, which is defaulted to 44. You can give a size for the width and height, which uh, I just found out you can do. You can choose the channel, which means that if I have multiple movie sprites that are supposed to be on the screen at the same time, it'll default to movie and therefore only one of them will show, but I can make them in different channels to avoid that problem. Play is your file for the actual what you want to play, and then a mask is what you want to play what you want to use as an alpha mask. And it's 
kind of hard to visualize when Windows Media Player is showing that weird crap that I showed you, but the basic premise of it is that when I run this, what's happening is this part of Eileen right here, in the mask at least, is white, and the whole background is black. And therefore, it's kind of like um, layer masking in uh, an image editing program, whereby if the le if the mask is black, you, it cuts it off and becomes transparent. If the mask is white, then it allows whatever was beneath there to come come through. So that's what it is. And then, so how did I actually? do this. Um, the one extra thing that you need to know how to do is how to set up the play callback. And for all three of these I have it called Q Eileen. And here's my Q Eileen function. It's very simple. Let's see if I can look at the documentation for this. Here's the play callback documentation. This example code given is what I used as my base for uh, my own personal one. And all I did was I changed it instead of renpy.music.play, I did renpy.music.q, which means that it's going to set it up to play when the last one finishes in that channel. And then what I did is I queued up Eileen's idle animation to loop forever afterwards there with, and this part right here is very important, clear queue false, because if you don't do that, then you'll just only ever get the idle animation. It'll clobber the the regular animation. So, I mean, that's it. This is what, 10 lines of code, including my white space? This is four lines of code. And this is a normal script, like these were regular sprites. So it's actually pretty awesome. And uh, I know Tom is gonna create actual live 2D support in the meantime, but I'm happy with this. I'm very happy with this. So I just wanted to show you guys how I ended up doing it. All right. See you next time.